Hello everyone, welcome uh, or welcome back uh, to Exploring Tarot. Uh, my name is Sandy and in this video we're going to have a little first impressions look of, at the illustrated bestiary oracle cards by Maya Toll. Now, I've seen a lot of people uh, around the tarot community uh, combining all of the Maya Toll oracle decks at the moment and this was something that I had planned on doing as well but I was trying to figure out <coughs> how I would go about it because um, before the bestiary or the crystallary or any of those decks existed I I had bought the illustrated herbiary collectible box set with the big lovely book and the separate cards and I thought to myself that I haven't I've barely used the big shiny lovely book so I thought I would just see um, what the oracle, like just simply the oracle would look like before I bought anything else. And I looked at some pictures online and I thought, yeah, this looks good. It looks the same as the, as the herbi herbiary. I shall uh, get it. And then I waited for a little bit until I felt like the time was right. And um, here we are. I now recently got the illustrated bestiary, but the m immediately I got it in, I noticed I haven't actually uh, taken off the wrapper yet. But I noticed that the cards are not the same size. The cards that came with the box set um, are just, you know, a bit smaller. <laughs> So I can't combine these two now, um, like I thought, or like I had planned. And um, also uh, other differences, for those who are curious, these ones that came in the collectible box set has uh, gold gilding. And the backs are purple with a golden print on them. Whereas the cards that come in the just singular oracle box, just a deck and a little white book, um, are slightly bigger, no gilding, and the backs are inverted, so it's uh, gold with the details in uh, purple. And the illustration on the backs are not the same either. As you can see here, they look similar, but they're not the same um, at all. So, now I have <laughs> one of each, and um, I mean, I definitely prefer the size of this one. Even, even this one is, you know, slightly uncomfortable for me to use. <sighs> so now... I bought this and um, there's no re there's no way for me to return it really so I need to now decide on whether I want to purchase the bestiary collectible box set to go with this one or to buy the singular just oracle card set of the herbiary and co connect it with this one and then try and shift whichever one I don't end up using. Um, I've basically not... This one is hardly used. I've pulled a few cards from it. Um, I've just had other decks that I've been using instead at the moment. Um, but... Yeah, so you can see here the gilding is in really good shape and everything. Um, the only thing about this then is that I would really like to have the little guidebook instead of the big one. The the one the oracle deck that just comes in this little box, 
like the bestiary here, has this little white book, or this little guidebook that basically just has a, a little page for every card. And this is what I would prefer, I think. Um, yeah. So eventually, I suppose I'm going to have to buy the herbiary in this kind of oracle deck um, box style instead. Um, because I do prefer, like you can see here, I do prefer the. Zoom you in a little bit. I do prefer the font on these cards. And I do also, you can see here that the cards on the collectible box set has the page number written on the card. I don't mind that as much, as like very much per se. Um, I just um, really like it when um, books are, you know, like this one is in uh, alphabetical order. So it's easy to find anyway without having to look up page numbers um, and yeah I think using this one I will probably have to trim it anyway in order for me to use it it's a bit difficult with the keywords you know extending past the micro border part which is a bit annoying, but I think that I could at least get, you know, a couple of millimeters from all the edges, um, which would just make it about the same size as this. As you can see here. Yeah. So that would help a lot. Anyway, I am going to um, break this deck open now so we can have a look at the cards and um, let's also compare the the um, cardstock while we're at it so This is going to take a little, little while. I might cut it out in the editing. But anyway, today I'm having a lazy Saturday. My partner is having to work today and he's working overtime as well. So, um, ooh, I do like, prefer this cardstock a lot better. Like the feel of the cards on the front. Feels a lot more um, high quality. Quite cardboardy, stiff, but that's okay. That's the same with this, but I do prefer, look, this one has a lot more sheen. This one is a lot more matte. You can barely see the ring light in here. Look at that. That's really nice. I like that. Right, um, I might end up just liking this uh, animal or, or animal oracle so much I might not even want to combine it with the herbiary. I really do feel, if you've watched any of any of my episodes before, you know I'm a big animal animal deck person. So um, let's zoom you guys in. Move the light a little bit so that my hands won't put too much shade maybe that's gonna happen anyway anyway like so all right first off we have the beavers making make manifest i really do like this energy here it's uh we can see here we've got the like little dam that the beavers are building and then in the middle here, we've got some roses, a feather, a bowl, and some crystals and a candle. And um, I think that's then symbolizing the, 
you know, the magical aspect of, of how we would maybe go about manifesting something. Um, the items we were, would put on, on an altar, for example, offerings and stuff. So yeah, beautiful card. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Delight in daring, five line skink. All right, I have never heard of a skink in my life. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I'm going to learn some new animals. <laughs> I have a little problem with snakes and and um, this one's quite scary. <laughs> but yeah, delight in daring. I think this might be a card I have to work with. I'm not a very daring person. <laughs> I like safety and comfort. Com comfiness and um, yeah <laughs> love fiercely whoopers one oh gosh this is such a beautiful card look at these colors oh this I also, I like the symmetry of the whole thing is just amazing. Oh, transcend yourself, Andalusian horse. All right, so we seem to be having some kind of um, skin drum here, and a black and a white horse. Makes me think of the chariot a bit. They're going in opposite directions. That's very interesting. And we've got these arrows here as well. And all these kinds of different um, environments here in the corners. Like forest, water, looks like kind of hill area, savanna maybe. Very interesting. Hope the guidebook will go into all of this um, artwork. Probably won't though. I'll have a quick, quick, quick look. Andalusian horse. No. No, it does not. I will look at the guidebook in a little bit uh, after we flip through the cards. Don't worry. Right, next one up. I always keep thinking that I'm having two cards in my in between my fingers, but they're just so thick. That's what I think. <laughs> Honor lineage, Asian elephant. Ah, oh, again, this artwork. I love the Kato Hara's uh, artwork. It's just so fantastic. I am. Um, I think I followed her on Instagram even before the the um, oracle decks came out i think i've also pestered her about making an, a tarot deck <laughs> but um i don't know if she's up for it maybe she is now once she, when she's uh, illustrated so many cards for this these oracle decks um she might feel a bit more up to the challenge but um yeah she makes such thought-provoking cards. I really love it. Look at how the water that's coming from the trunk of the elephant is like turning into this river that's in this in this um, landscape in her mind. And then we've got this DNA chain coming here with these elephants in a row coming in in and out of her ears basically her head oh so beautiful oh barn owl my lovely lovely barn owl i love barn owls you've probably heard me say that so many times by now <laughs> but listen for spirit I love everything about this card. This anatomical heart is creeping me out a little bit because I just saw a um, 
an episode of a video of a, a TV show where they were <laughs> plucking out hearts and eating them, and it was um, yeah not a very nice uh, image. Um, with the heart being behind these doors, though, that's kind of opened up. Mm, that gives a food for th thought, doesn't it? The colours in this artwork is just so fantastic. After the barn owl, we have the bear. Oh my gosh, I love this card. I need a print of this. I need a print of this card. Sync with the cycles. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm in love. I'm in love with this deck already. Yeah, this is going to become one of my favorites, I can tell. Oh, so beautiful. Look at those eyes. Oh. Oh no. What's happening here? I think there's some, uh, I don't know, some weird, can you see that? There's some weird oil residue, maybe it's from the printing press or something? I noticed it on my, on the previous card, on the back. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, oh yeah, you can see it a bit there, it's shiny. It's very odd. It's not from my hands, I know that, because I washed my hands before starting this video. Oh, it seems to be coming off all right. It's just very odd. Very odd indeed. All right, the next card is Grow Your Truth. And we have another snake. <laughs> but this is a rainbow snake. So um, I think I'm going to be okay with that. But again, look at this. The symbology here, we have this snake who keeps shedding layer upon layer upon layer, revealing this rainbow pattern here. And then we've got a spine, a human spine, I think, and some wings in the back. It's grow your truth. So powerful. Commune with nature. Blue damsel fly. Mm. This image reminds me of a different deck. Another animal oracle um, with a dragonfly over water on the front of the box. Some kind of animal spirit oracle, but I can't remember what the name exactly is. Appreciate the process, cow and bull. This is such a gorgeous cow. Oh, look at the stars on her high, on her, in her fur. Hmm. Ooh, okay, earthworm. Oh, I like that the little common worm gets some attention. Discover your purpose. <laughs> I always felt so sorry for the worms when I was a kid. Whenever it rained and they had to come out, up out of the ground, they, I always thought they felt so scared having to be out of the ground. You know, just crawling around, being all slimy. Deal with the dirt, eastern oyster. There are some unusual animals being represented in this deck. I really appreciate that. I also really wished that this deck had more cards. Um, it's only got 36 cards. I would have wanted this to be an animal deck, but have like 50, 60 cards at the very least. 
That would have been really cool. Everything is connected. The zigzag spider. Snakes and spiders and worms. Mm. The, uh, there's a bunch of hearts in the in the web that uh, the spider has been spinning. Do you see it? One, two, three. <laughs> Ooh, the spider gives me the ickies though. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. I think it, it's the legs, they're so pointy. <laughs> Renew your life, sea eagle. Wow. This is a very blazing, blazing card, isn't it? <laughs> Crash and burn and rise from the ashes. <laughs> Hmm. Nurture connections. Wow, look at this. Grey wolves being weaved into this tapestry. Gorgeous. Navigate by the sun. Honeybees. Know your song, House Finch. Oh, he's all tied down with this rock and he's trying to untie himself. You can see the bottom of a cage here as well. Hmm. Work together, House Mouse. <laughs> Cheeky. Raiding the pantry. Remember forgetting human. Oh dear. Oh, that hit me in the heart. <laughs> head coming out of the book with these plants and then inside this head all of the silhouettes of different animals oh. discover the pattern broad-winged katydid so here we've got the katydid is that how you pronounce it Katie did. <laughs> uh, like swirls of different patterns here. We've got leaves, we've got the seed of life or flower of life, the sacred geometry here. We've got oak or acorns. We've got some leafless trees. Where is that? root system maybe and the open night sky oh the little owl key in to wisdom so cute <laughs> now is this um, making a reference to uh, Artemis and and so this would be Artemis Owl or something, maybe? With all the Greek references here. <laughs> Digest your past. Mon monarch Butterfly. Wow. That's super interesting. got all the stages of the butterfly here, the caterpillar, the chrysalis or the cocoon, and then the butterfly once it emerges. The nut hatch, change your perspective. Wow. 
Wow, this artwork. Sunlight, daytime, nighttime, moonlight. I love that. Dive under the surface, orca. Mm. That's super pretty. Evolve into your next becoming, spring peeper. <laughs> Little frog hanging out. The little toadstools here. Sorry, why you call them? They're not toadstools. That's is it toadstools? <laughs> Sorry, I'm 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 having a bit of a mo brain moment. <laughs> um, hmm. Tadpoles. Thank you. Tadpoles, not toads. <laughs> toadstools are these little uh, <laughs> um, mushrooms. Tadpoles, thank you, brain, for working eventually. <laughs> Free your inner fire. Pelated woodpecker. Oh, I love these sound waves coming out here. And you can see the si sound bars. Look, these are like sound bars that you can see on a music system. That's really cool. We used to have woodpeckers on our yard. Um, every summer and it would be my parents would be worried that he was going to start uh, hacking holes into our house <laughs> oh the common raven align your inner compass well all right so this card is a bit special to me because this was one of the cards that krista from uh, adventures in metaphysics uh, pulled for me in the reading that she did for me just recently and uh, I'm gonna put this card up on my altar uh, for a little bit uh, just to remind myself of the messages that came through for with the reading she gave me and um, yeah really really good reading that I got from her you should check out her readings they are now available on in her Etsy, Etsy shop I'm gonna link them down below for you so, align your inner compass. Really love this card. Oh my goodness. Shapeshift red fox. Look at those eyes. And those colors. Again, I'm just... The vibrancy of this deck just hits me right in the heart. I love it. Otters, look at this rainbow ribbon here as well. River otters, slide into joy. Oh, how fantastic is this card! Oh, navigate life with determination. Red salmon. Oh, definitely, salmons are very determined. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Get creative. Oh, I, another owl. I'm so spoiled in this deck. A screech owl. So nice, but also more snakes. <laughs> very, very cute. But the snakes are making my fingers tingle a little bit. <laughs> Find your element, sea turtle. Sorry, it's just a very um, visceral uh, reaction that I get on snakes. I don't, I can't explain it. I think it's just very primal. Um, this sea turtle card is also so pretty. <laughs> it just reminds me of the, this. Uh, whenever I see sea turtles now, I just think of the. The hippie turtle in uh, <laughs> Finding Nemo. Hey, dude. <laughs> this cracks me up. 
Oh. Well, anyway. Stand up for yourself, spotted skunk. Oh, I love this. Look at this cutie pie. <laughs> Oh gosh, that one makes me so happy. <laughs> you are worthy, Tabby Cat. Wow, the Tabby Cat channeling its ancestors. <laughs> so cute. Steady on, common tortoise. Wow, this reminds me of them. Um, well, partly it reminds me of Morla, the turtle in, um, or the ancient tortoise turtle in Neverending Story, and partly it reminds me of um, Terry Pratchett's books and the world uh, that's standing, that's on top of a the like disc world. If you know any of anything about it, it's a, it's a world that's a disc that's balancing on. A turtle or a tortoise um, that's balancing on some elephants. I can't remember all of it, but it's 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 uh, ridiculous and really funny. <laughs> and the last card is pause, assess, and act. White-tailed deer. Oh wow! I love that. The triangle. Super beautiful. Wow. Alright, so I am definitely going to have to get the herbiary in this version because honestly this these cards feel beautiful in the hand. And after I've trimmed them and edged them, I think or maybe I don't even have to trim them. We'll have to see how it shuffles. Um, I mean, especially from combining the two decks, it's going to be a difficult uh, deck for me to handle if it's too big. Um, anyway, let's shuffle and grab a card and I'll write, read from the guidebook for you. See what message comes through for us for the first card that I'm pulling from my very newest illustrated bestiary. Can you please settle this for me? Is it pronounced bestiary or bestiary? Because I would like to say bestiary because it's, you know, animals, beasts. But I've heard a lot of people say bestiary and that would make sense because there's no A in this word. It's just B-E-S-T-I-A-R-Y. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's going to be bestiary because I'm usually wrong about these things. But um, let's shuffle one more time. All right. Where do we want to go? I feel that card. Navigate life with determination. Red salmon. Oh, that's a really lovely message. Let's have a look what the guidebook says. Navigate. Oh, of course, it's going to be red, so according to the R, of course. So, red salmon. We also get, so this is what the, the pages look like. You get the animal represented down here. You've got, got the keyword on the top, the animal here. And then underneath you get the Latin or the, like the scientific name for the animal. Lovely touch. So, red salmon, navigate life with determination. Quit griping and get going, quips Salmon. And she should know. Salmon swims thousands of miles and undaunted by eagles, bears and waterfalls. And just when she's at her weakest and most exhausted, her route turns mostly upstream. This isn't an accident. 
Salmon didn't get lost or find herself turned around. On the contrary, Salmon is one of the finest navigators to swim the seven seas. She can always find her way home. Salmon will help you plumb the depth, depths of your own unconscious to discover the energy and determination to get to your soul's destination. Call on Salmon to help you navigate life with determination meaning and purpose <laughs> i do love the way these this little guidebook is written as well so i'm expecting this to become a very appreciated deck in my collection and um knowing myself i'm not going to be able to keep myself from getting the herbiary version of the bigger cards as well just because the cardstock is just so nice. Much nicer than this. In any case, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you all are well and that you're having a wonderful day. Please take care of yourself and each other. And I'll see you in my next video.